Alrighty mates, look at this beautiful navigation bar at the top of our web page, looking good. And guys, before we continue, I know what you are thinking already. All right, so pretty much every single web page that we make for this website is gonna have this navigation bar. So what I'm gonna do for every single template that I make, I'm gonna have to go and then copy this and let me just go ahead and copy that right there and then oh, let's put it in another page all right so now if i go to this one then this has the navigation bar too all right you know both of them are looking good and oh, crap now we got to do another template copy this code plop it in copy this code plop it in well then our teacher or boss comes to us and is like hey bucky you need another button on here all right so i'm gonna have to go in every single template and add a button one by one. No, no, no. Guys, whenever we set it up this way, we're breaking the number one rule of software design. That rule is never repeat yourself. If ever you're making a website or a piece of software and you find yourself having the same code or doing the same thing over and over and over again, then you're doing something wrong. So instead of having the same code in every single template, let's go ahead and think about this. The way we want to set up our site is we're basically going to have it where every basic structure is identical. In other words, we have the same background. We have the navigation bar. This never changes no matter what page you're on and the basic styling as well. So wouldn't it be awesome if we could kind of make a generic blueprint to say, okay, we're going to have this generic blueprint. And then this is the only section that we need to change. And that way, if we just have it in one location, we just have to, you know, add another button or maybe change the background color of this and it updates on every single page. That would be fantastic. So let's go ahead and set it up that way. So instead of having this on every single template, what we're going to do is we're going to right click here and we're going to make a new HTML file called base HTML. So this is basically going to be our generic blueprint and it's already set up for us. And again, this is just a regular HTML file. So what parts do we want the same on every page? Well, this, this, of course it needs a heading, the title I'm going to have Viber. And of course we need these on every single page. So again, in base.html, just go ahead and plop in whatever you're going to need on every single page for your website. All right. So we need all of those includes on every single page. Now, what else? Well, we know that every single page is also going to have the same navigation bar at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. So you can go ahead and cut it and it's going to go right inside the body. So let me plop it right in there. All right, so there we go. And let me make sure it's deleted from everywhere. All right. So this is the basic structure of every single page. So we have all of our imports or includes, and then we have our navigation bar. But we also need a way to include other stuff in the body right under the navigation bar. So how do we define that in our base template? Well, what we do is we actually make kind of a variable and you can name it anything you want, but it's called a block. So what you write is block. In other words, after this, we're going to include a block of code. What it is, well, it might change, but that's basically what we're going to do. And I'm just going to name this body. But again, you can name this block anything you want. And then you just need to write end block. End block. So what we're saying right here is later on, we're going to include a block of code and this is where it starts and this is where it ends. So basically just plop it right in there and you guys are going to see why it has a starting and an ending spot later on, but that is how you do it. So now let's actually go ahead in one of our views and use this template. So the first thing we need to do is actually include or say, Hey Django, we are using this template. And this is what we're going to want to appear in that block section. So how do we do that? Well, in order to include a template, it's called extends. So we are going to include music slash base HTML. So in other words, what we did is we just pretty much took all of this 
and plopped it right in there. Now, another piece of the puzzle we need to fill in is now it's asking, okay, so you said that something was going here and block body. Um, what do you want me to put right there? Well, all you have to do is this. Whatever chunk of code, which is essentially all this that we want to put right here, we just surround it with the same exact tags. So it says, all right, so just maybe if I indent it, it'll be a little bit easier. All right, copy this and boom, roasted. So all we're doing is we're replacing this with this. Pretty cool way. And if we want to do it with our details page, then let me indent that later. Indent that and copy this because I'm lazy and I don't feel like typing it. All right. So there you go and check it out. Refresh and we should see no differences, but let me go ahead and change something real quick just so I can prove to you guys that it did work. If I uh, change the logo to Bucky, look what happens. Refresh it and on our main index page, this changed to Bucky and now when we go to a new page, this changed to Bucky as well. So it's a lot easier whenever you have to update your overall theme or template just to do it in one location using a base theme. Now let me change it back to Viber. And another thing I wanna point out is this. So you see on our homepage, we have the title Viber right here. And then when we go to this, the title is also Viber. Now it's not really good to have the same title on every single page. So let's go ahead and fix that in our base and oh, crap. See what we did is we included this title as part of the base theme. So, oh crap, I guess we're gonna have the same title on every page. Well, again, anytime you wanna change part of this base theme, then what you can do is you can include these blocks. So let me just go ahead and make a new block around this title and I'll just name it title and surround it with N block. All right, now let's say that we wanted to change the title on this details page. Again, just right after here, I'll write uh, like song details or right? song, or it's actually album details. So there you go. So now check it out. If we go back to our homepage, the title is Viber. And now if we go to another page, we can override that title by writing whatever we want. So if you don't write anything, then it's just gonna keep whatever is in the block by default. So let's say for the index page, we actually did want it to say Viber for the title, then that's fine. But on the details page, we're like, all right, actually overwrite that. So including these blocks is actually optional if you wanna overwrite the base template. But now we have a much better, cleaner layout. And again, anytime you want pieces that you wanna include or overwrite, just go ahead and throw blocks in there. And there's a lot more to cover concerning templates, but for right now, I think that uh, we're doing all right. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.